So, just another quick video about a new feature that was added to the uh, latest version of Virtual GTA 2021, which is build 7131 at the time of this recording, and that is the stem creator for producers to create their own pre-computed stems from the original stems. That's what it says in the release notes, and that's quite a mouthful. Uh, so what is this really? Let, let's, talk, let's talk about what it's not. It's not a new stem separation feature in Virtual DJ. We already had that for a couple of years and it works fine. It's not even a new pre-compute stem separation feature, which we also had for a couple of years and also works. And it's not even a, a way to export the separated stems from Virtual DJ. You can also already do that if you know how to do it. And I've created a few video, videos on all these subjects, which I'll link in the video description. So that's what it's not. What it really is, is a way to tell Virtual DJ that a pre-computed stems file is actually to be based on real stems. So if you can get hold of real stems from the producer, or if you are the producer, or if you purchase them, or whatever, you can get hold of stems, you can then tell Virtual DJ to put that into a pre-computed stems file, so you actually think that it's something that it has pre-computed, but in reality, it's the original stems, which will, of course, sound a lot better, because they've never been put together. These are the original stems from the producers from the studio. So, uh, so that's what this is really all about. So let's try it then. So I have a, a few uh, tracks here, like you can see. And if you look into them, you see it's actually stems, right? So up here I have the original track. So that's kind of what, uh, what you would normally use and separate if you only had that. But let's just listen to it to see what we're aiming for here. So I'll play it a bit. So it's an ele electronica file, kind of air vibe, vibe here. But you can see over here we have some vocals. So that's an interesting area, and I'll just pick up a couple of places where it goes a little bit more crazy. So we have the drums, and we also have all the instruments and stuff. So that's what it sounds like when it's uh, not separated, when it's just a, re a real original file. So we've got that too. And then we have to separate the stems. And we have four of them. So we have bass, and we have drums, and we have the lead vocals, and then we have the instruments, which is kind of really the rest of it. So we can see, see that in a second. So let's try listening to them. So this is the bass. It's from an original stem. So like you can hear, it's, a, it's an electronic bass, but you can also hear there are no artifacts. There's no artifacts from the separation because, well, the separation never happens. This is the original stem. Same with the drums. That's the actual drums from the producer, so never been separated, so it's crystal clear, right? Uh, and if we try the lead vocals, Maybe here. So that's the lead vocals, and then we have the instruments. And that's a little fake actually because it has also has some backing vocals and stuff in it. So let's listen to it. So that's basically the rest of it, right? So we have four stems here that we need to put into our new little thing. So how do we get to this new to, to this new stem creator? Well, it's not in the skin, at least not yet. So you have to uh, have to map it yourself. You can do that on a keyboard key or maybe a button on your controller. Or in my case here, it's a it's a custom button. So I simply put in open stem creator. And now when I click that, you can see I get this little pop-up. So what's that do? Well, that's actually why you combine your stems into one, into one track, one uh, fake pre-computed stems, because it's actually not computed, it's real stems. So let's look at it. Well, bass, it needs the bass. So that's simple enough. Let's load the bass track here. So that these are the same as these one down here, right? So I use in my bass group, I load that into the bass part. Then it's just kick, and then in, here it's a, in parentheses, it says drums. And that's because if you don't have your drums separated uh, into kick and hi-hat, 
you can just load them into drums, and then Virtual DJ will use its old school, old stem separation feature to separate them when needed, right? So uh, that's a little, little extra feature that's really nice because I don't have them separated down here. I just have one same drums. So let's load that into that one. Drums, yeah. Then we have vocals. That's also, uh, we have to, of course, have hi-hat uh, because that's if you had both of them, right? But I didn't, so we'll skip that one. Then we have vocals. That's also optional. Why is that? Well, that's probably because uh, you may also want to work with acapellas, right? So you don't always have the vocals because there are in some cases where that they don't exist. So let's just load those in there because we do have them, as we heard before. So the lead vocals. And then we have instruments. They also need to be there. We have those here too. That was the ones that had like all the rest of it in them. And we have a secondary instruments if you want to split that. Um, if you have two stems for it, we don't, so we'll just skip that one. And then we, of course, need to put in an output file. So uh, let me try that. Just put it in the same place. And I'll call that no deeper escape um, stems or something like that. Yeah. And then we have this thing down here. And that's pretty important because what we're doing now, we're stacking a lot of audio. And we're, it's, it's the same track, so some of it's going to be right on top of each other. So we might get into some clipping, I might get into some uh, distortion or something like that. So we probably want to create some headroom for ourselves. And that's what this thing does. So I'll put in 60B, leave that there. So we'll get a 60B headroom, headroom on all these stems. So they won't go below, uh, oh sorry, they won't go above unity when they're combined. And even then, if they didn't get a little too low maybe, then the auto gain in Virtual DJ would just take over and uh, and bring them right back up so they're gonna be loud enough. So that's an important little thing. So I'm gonna to create now, and then I'm gonna, then it should create a new uh, stems file for me. So uh, I do that, and you say it starts down here. And that's a little bit of a process because it's actually creating a combined file uh, with the, uh, which is gonna be, in, uh, uh, which is gonna be holding all these, uh, all these things in the same file, and it's doing it from WAV file, so it's pretty big. So it takes a little while. Uh, and of course, the next step we didn't want to do when that is done is to load it and and uh, and see uh, that we can still use the stem separation feature in here because there's a DJ think it's something that it has that it has previously separated. It's not. It's actually the real stems, but these, of course, still work because it's in the pre-computed format. And once we've done that, I think we should compare it to what what it sounds like if we use the original track and use the which are DJ stems separation feature, so we can hear the difference in quality. So let's just wait a few more percentages here so that it's ready. It's a little bit. It takes a little while to do this. And there you are. So now it's done, and I can close this one. And just go back and forth here. So you see now I have a new one, NDE, no D by escape, stems. So that's the new file that's been generated. So let's try loading that one and playing it. And as you recall, over here was uh, some of the vocals. And of course, down here, it was a little crazy. So maybe we want to check out what the vocal sounds like if we isolate them, because it shouldn't have any artifacts anymore, because it's not separated, it's the original ones, right? So let's try playing the track. Those are the vocals. Nicely the vocals. And of course, there are no artifacts because it's not been separated. It's the original ones. So let's load the, uh, the original one and just compare it over here. So that's been separated. It's separating it now, as you can see. So let's compare it once it's done. like that, and then go to basically the same place. And the real stems, for comparison. So 
So of course, the original stems is going to be better because it's never been put together, it's never been separated. Let's do the same from the, the kicks and the hi-hat, so basically the drums. So we play just the drums from down here maybe, and let's see what it sounds like. In the, with the real stems, And with the separated stems. So of course, of course here we have the artifacts and are missing a little bit because it's the separated ones. And over here on the original stems, we don't have that. We simply have the drums like the producer created it in the studio. So that's basically the feature. Uh, it's a way to get, of course, way better quality stems because it's the original stems but you put them into a pre-computed stems file in Virtual DJ so that Virtual DJ can work with them thinking that it's something that it, that it has previously separated itself.